Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly add a clock to your Android phone. Let's get straight into it. I'm on my Android phone and looking at a page view of some of my apps. It's quick to add a clock to your phone, but it can be tricky to do if you've not tried it before. In this guide, I'll show you how to do that in five simple steps. I know that sounds like a lot, but I promise you we'll be done in less than two minutes. Whenever you add any new items to your home page, such as a clock or a calendar, these are called widgets. You can ask Android to display the widget screen simply by tapping and holding the space where you want to add your clock. On doing that, a number of options are presented, but we're interested in the widget section, so I'll tap on that once to open it. The widget menu is then displayed. This shows all the items you can add to the home page on your phone. I'm going to scroll down that list until I come to the clock option. You'll see there are five different clock widgets available. Let's tap on that section once to open it. On doing that, all of the different clock styles are shown from analog to digital. And you should review that list until you find the one that you prefer most. I'm going to choose this 24 hour digital clock. I can then add that clock to my home screen simply by dragging it from this view. To do that, I'll tap and hold the clock widget. And if I move it slightly, you'll see the widget menu disappears and we're shown our home page again. All I now need to do is maneuver the clock to the correct position on the page. And I can confirm that simply by lifting my finger from the phone. On adding it, we're asked to choose which particular style we want to use, solid or transparent. I prefer the transparent look, so I'll tap on that once to select it. The clock is then added to the phone homepage. You can of course continue to alter the location of the clock on the page at any time, just by holding and dragging it, until you find the best spot for you. I hope you found this Wago guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.